Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Aisal Jani Shabu, Associate Professor, School of Computing, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today, we are going to learn the topic about supervised learning and unsupervised learning. Before we get into this topic, we need to understand that what is machine learning. Machine learning is a subset of AI, artificial intelligence, which enables the machine to automatically learn from data, improve performance from past experience and make predictions. So what is the aim of machine learning is making the computer to learn automatically by itself. That means to learn the computer like human. So first of all, we need to understand that what is learning? Learning means recognizing and understanding the input data and making voice decision based on the support data. Types of machine learning. We can implement machine learning techniques are in several ways. Most commonly used ones are supervised learning and unsupervised learning. In supervised learning, machine learning learns from labeled data. In unsupervised learning, machine learning labels from unlabeled data. So here, learning with the teacher and unsupervised learning, learning without the teacher. Look at this image. It's similar to a teacher-student scenario. That means there is a teacher who helps the student to learn from books and other materials. Here in us, unsupervised learning, she is studying by herself from books, some materials. So these are the most important differences between supervised learning and unsupervised learning. So supervised learning, learning with the teacher, unsupervised learning, learning without a teacher, then supervised learning, uh, learn from labeled data, and unsupervised learning, learn from unlabeled data. Okay, what is labeled and unlabeled data? Labeled and unlabeled data. Any data which has a characteristic, category, or attributes assigned to it can be referred to as a labeled data. Any data that cannot have any labels specifying its characteristic, identity, classification or properties can be considered unlabeled data. In labeled data, we are specifying names for these animals. Okay. In unlabeled data, we are not specifying any names for these animals. Okay. So, here we are specifying some attribute for these animals and unlabeled data, we are not specifying any uh, names for these animals. So, this is unlabeled data labeled data and unlabeled data. So labeled data, we are giving some additional information. Unlabeled data, we are not giving any additional information. Okay. So this is another one example for labeled data. Here we have fruit name. Okay. This fruit name, we are specifying some characters, size, color, shape. Okay. So we are specifying some characteristic for these fruit names. For example, orange, size is big and color is orange and shape is round shape. So here we are specifying some characters and giving some additional information. This is one of the example for labeled data. Next is supervised learning. In supervised learning, the machine learns under supervision. It contains a model that is able to predict with the help of a labeled data set. A labeled data set is one where you already know the target answer. So here we have labeled data and model training, test data and output. Okay, so the first the models are trained using labeled data. Once training process completed, the next model is tested using test data. Finally, we got the output. So first models are trained using labeled data. Then once the training process is completed, that uh, model is tested using test data. Finally, we got the output. So here we have two paces trained model and test model. The next we can see the uh, paces of supervised learning. Paces in supervised learning. So there are two paces in supervised learning. First phase one, model construction and model usage. First one, model construction. First train the machine with the sample data which are labeled data and are error free data. That is some data are already tagged with the correct data. So first here model construction, we trained some data. So we trained the model trained with some labeled data. The model is represented as classification rules, decision trees or mathematical formula. The next phase two, that is model usage. This phase will estimate the accuracy of model. 
the new data of set that is testing data will be given to machine where you example data then the machine analyze the training data and produce the output. So here we have two phases model construction and model usage. So first model construction here we train the label data and next phase two we test the data and give the and produces the output. The next supervised learning. So here we have label data size color and shape these are input variable and fruit name is the output variable. So our label name is orange, grape, apple, cherry and banana. So here we are specifying some characters for these fruit names. Okay, We are giving some additional, in, additional information to this label. So this is labeled data. So orange size is big and color is orange and shape is a round shape. Okay, First we implemented this label data set into the supervised learning model. The next supervised learning model has been learned with the help of these training data, these labeled data. Once training process is completed, it is a capable of predicting the output data. So, if we give any input data, new input data, it predicts the output, it can predict the output. So, we can give like if shape of object is rounded shape with the depression at the top having color red. Okay, so we can get the output as it it predict okay it predict the output like apple okay so train the machine using data which is well labeled when the machine is provided with a new set of sample supervised learning algorithm analyzes the training data and produces an correct outcome from labeled data so first one here train the machine using this labeled data that is well labeled using well labeled data we train this machine the next we provide the new set of data to that model. So it analyzes the training data and produces the correct output. Another one example, here we are giving label data uh, that is knife and spoon. So the model is trained with this label data. The next once the model uh, construction is completed, the next we are giving the new data is here. So finally it gives the output. Then next categories of supervised learning. Supervised learning can be classified into two types of problems, classification and regression. So classification is defined labels, regression no labels defined. Classification is about predicting a class or discrete values. Example, male or female, pass or fail, yes or no, like that. Okay. So here, no continuous values like numbers. That means 1, 2, 3, like so no continuous values, only binary values 0 or 1. The classification task only two class labels. For example, if you are giving the cancer cell detection, so it gives the output as cancer detected or not detected. Class classify 0 or 1, only binary value. Next, supervised learning classification. So we need a supervised learning model to see an image and recognize apple and orange. Here we have two images. First, we need to feed these two images with the label into this model. Okay. One, first, uh, this model tries to map these images and the label. Okay. After uh, the training process is completed, if you give any input, it gives the output, either an apple or orange. Next, classification algorithm. The following are some of the well-known algorithm in classification. That is random forest algorithm, decision tree algorithm, KNN algorithm, support vector machine algorithm and navy base algorithm. Next, supervised learning regression, another type. Okay, two types classification and regression. This is the next one. Regression is about predicting a quantity or continuous values. So classification, binary values, it classified only two values. Here regression, continuous values, one, two, three, like continuous values. Example, salary, age, price, like that. Based on our experience, our salary will increase, like that. Regression algorithms are used to solve regression problem in which there is a linear relationship between input and output variables. Okay, input and output variables means input uh, that uh, our characters, some we are giving some additional information. So, input variable and output variables, the label variable. These are used to predict continuous output variables such as market trends and weather prediction, etc. Example. So temperature is the independent variable and humidity is the dependent variable here. So if the temperature increases, then humidity decreases. So here we have two variables, 
temperature and humidity. So, if, uh, temperature is an independent variable, uh, humidity is the dependent variable. So, depend, uh, it depends on uh, temperature. Okay, the two variables are here. So, we can feed these two variables in this model. So, first is to try to understand the relationship between these two variables. Finally, it gives the output that is rainfall in centimeter. These are the algorithms in uh, most popular algorithms in uh, regression, simple linear regression algorithm, multivariate regression algorithm, decision tree algorithm, the next Lasho regression algorithm. So difference between classification and regression. Classification is predicting the discrete values. Regression predicting continuous values. So data is classified into two or more classes. It requires a prediction of quantity. A classification problem with two classes is called binary classification and more than two classes can be called multi-class classification. A regression problem with multiple input variable is called multivariate regression. So classifying spam mail, identifying fruit based on color, shape, etc. These are all examples for classification. And predicting price of house, predicting amount of rainfall, these are all example application for regression. So here in supervised learning, we studied about what is machine learning. Uh, we understand that what is learning, then the difference between uh, supervised learning and unsupervised learning. The next uh, label, what is labeled data and what is unlabeled data and what paces of are in, what uh, two paces are in supervised learning. We studied about that. Uh, then some algorithms uh, we learned and also uh, some uh, examples for supervised learning and uh, classification uh, examples, regression also, examples also we studied here. Thank you.